evaluating Anne's speech, and that is Scott. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dan. All right. And great job for coming up on your second time. Thanks for coming back to do it again. Got many more to go. You have a really nice, calm presence to yourself as you come up and speak with us. You really, your your personality is warm. You got a great smile. So feel comfortable with that. I felt like there was a little bit of a hesitation, you know, coming out, and getting, you know, getting going with it. But just enjoy coming up. And like we're talking about, there's always the adrenaline flow. Everybody. I think does anybody not get a, an adrenaline surge and a bit nervous right before they come up to speak? Anybody here? Anyone? Yeah. No matter who they are, everyone does it. I think some of the best advice I got from Clement Pepe was to take three deep breaths right before coming up. Something about taking a deep breath, hold it, let it out, just brings my adrenaline down. I know I probably need it more than most. Anyway, great job with the preparation, having the charts already pre-made with the ten or the eight weeks, seven weeks, 63 days of activity going through there. It helped you to lay out because this was a presentation on organization and you were definitely organized going through everything. As you were doing that, just a couple of tips so on the charts. One was that there was a lot of words on the charts. And so I know you, you realize it's probably gonna be a little bit small for us. That's okay. But probably a little bit uh, too many words in there for us to read through there uh, just seemed a little bit more challenging. That's not too bad though, that's all right. What is bad though, and just want to point out because I think we all have a tendency to do it when we have a chart like that, is to turn and look at the chart and, and read it. And when you do that, your back's to everyone else. Never read your own charts. You want to, you can look at them, glance and then point to them, but always turn back to the audience when you're speaking. Never speak to your chart, always speak to the audience. So that was the only real critique that I had through the presentation, and that happened a few times where you turned to read the chart, and that is not something anybody wants to do, and it's hard to realize when you're doing it, because hey, I'm reading my stuff, you know, let's <laughs> read with me, you know, and go through it. It's easy to fall into that as a trap. Also, going through the steps, you had great steps going through. I love the way the organization flowed through each of the weeks and highlighting what you got out of it. I'd say on some of them that were extra important, remember we can generally only absorb probably three good points. So pick three of the weeks out of there that you really want to elaborate about how we might take what you learned from that and apply it to our own life. Because you've got to hook us. In any presentation that we do, there's got to be a hook where we grab and say, ah, that works for me too whether it's emotionally or business-wise or whatever. So if there's something in there that really works for you that you can extrapolate to the rest of us and we go, yeah, that's a life changer. Emphasize to that. Don't just go through the stuff. Pick one, two, preferably three things, I'd say, that could really grab us. At least one, though, that, you know, is take home and, and go with. And you did that at the end with the Zig Ziglar quote, like I know you love Zig too, and that's one of my favorite quotes from Zig also, that you'll get everything you want out of life if you just help another enough other people get what they want. And I thank you for that ending conclusion, and thank you. <laughs> Who's gonna take that? <laughs> Who's next? Thank you, Scott. Our next evaluator today is Cindy, and she will be evaluating Paul on his icebreaker speech. Cindy? speech myself, but I know you've got a little bit of experience with motivational speaking and uh, speaking before a group, but I was uh, very attentive to it. I enjoyed the speech. I like the fact that you went back from walking through your family history in Illinois and talking about <coughs> influences, good and bad, that uh, different parts of your life have played, and especially your parents and the strength that they gave you and part of the uh, vision to create the person that you are. So that was very inspiring. I thought the positive energy and standing in front of the podium was, was excellent. And you reached out to all of us in the audience by looking and making eye contact, some physical movement to emphasize your point. The uh, vocal variety was excellent to get our attention and also to flow the story forward. So I enjoyed that. Um, enthusiasm was there, and I felt that you had a beginning, you had a middle, and you had a very strong closing. So um, 
Thank you very much. And for our third speaker, evaluating Susie, we have Diana Eisler. Thank you. Susie, what can I say? Lovely as always. You always do a great job. Thank you for actually taking the time to help us make this a better group. That's really important. One of, I don't know how many of you know, but Susie's not kidding. She's going to drive this, this group into the poorhouse because we keep buying her breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> Every time we have a new member, you get breakfast for free on us. So please, if that's any incentive, use that as an incentive. But I think Susie gave us some really great incentives as to why this group uh, needs new members. It made us recognize ourselves from us what our needs were, which is a really good way to sell. The object is to get us to look at what we want and, and buy into it. And that's a really tough thing to do. You didn't seem to hit any of the no-nos telling us what to do, more getting us to agree what we need, needed to do and reiterate. A couple things. Um, you usually are pretty confident to come around to the front of the podium, and I don't think you did. I just wanted, you're right, I didn't. I and <laughs> and that's fine, but on, on the advanced level, I, that's a little more, uh, I, I don't know, expected is the word right. for it, but, and other than that, Madam, I mean, I couldn't find anything really wrong, problems, you spoke clearly, you engaged everybody in the audience, you gave us feedback from our feedback, it was a really good give and take, I thought you did a phenomenal job, you always do a great job with, with this. I really, as I said, appreciate that you <coughs> brought this back to the group and helped us to make this a better group. The only comment that I would have is we've lost a Rosh, and he had the highest level of anybody in here. If we could recruit someone who's got that kind of standing, although you're pretty close to where he is with your levels, um, that would be a really great point for us. So in your, in your searching for new candidate, see if you can find somebody who's been in Toastmasters who needs to come back. Yeah. Great job, Susan. 